OK, so a round of applause for Karen. OK, would, could you just take your jumper off, because it might just get in the way, so... OK. So, what I'm going to do, Karen, is I'm going to throw the ball to you, and I'm going to ask you to catch it with one hand, OK, and then throw it back to me. All right, so which hand would you normally prefer to catch the ball with? So I'm going to ask you to use your left hand. OK, ready? Here we go. That's all right, isn't it? Whoops, a daisy. That's good. Thank you. Whoops, a daisy. Now, Karen, I want you to watch the ball. Whoops, a daisy. OK, now, Karen, I really want you to try hard. Whoops, a daisy. OK, cool. I'll give you another throw. That wasn't a very good one, was it? Hey, I really want you to try hard. Well tried. Good. Okay, cool. Thank you, Karen. Well done. That's brilliant. Thank you. Okay, come a little closer, please. So, now I'm going to um, throw the ball. Just drop back a tiny bit, if you'd be so kind. That's good. A um, little bit closer. That's great. Thank you. Alison, could you just check we're both in shot? Would that be okay? That's great. Can I go back a bit? That's about it. Okay, that's perfect. That's good. Good. Thank you. So I'm going to throw the ball to you now, Karen. I'm going to ask you some questions. And please just answer the questions, okay? So, Karen, what do you notice, please? I caught the ball back. Well done, okay. <laughs> and what else do you know? You, you mentioned the ball, okay? So what else do you notice? Yellow or white. Very good. Anything else you notice about the ball? It's round. Very good. Anything else? It's soft. Okay, <laughs> round of applause, please. Wow. Wow. Really interesting, wasn't it? Okay, this bit's in your books, ladies. ladies. Okay, on page 16. Look what happened when I simply asked some open questions. Now, I'm sure we all know this, but just for clarification, obviously, a closed question is a question that elicits a yes or no answer. Okay? So, is this carpet blue and green? And the answer would be yes or no, closed question. An open question might be, so, what sort of carpet is this? Or what colours are the carpet? See the idea? Okay. So, with Karen, okay... What precisely did I do in the second half of the exercise? I'm sorry? Asked her what she noticed. So I asked open questions. Good. Okay. Whose interest did I follow? Sorry? Karen's, yeah. So she spoke about the ball, so I, I spoke about the ball. She then spoke about yellow and white, so I spoke about yellow and white. So whatever she took an interest in, I followed her interest. Make sense? Yeah? Now by following her interest, of course, I am speaking her language. And it's not like she says, oh, um, I can see a ball... And then I said something like, okay, um, what did you notice about the lines on the ball? Because I would then be taking a focus away from the ball to the lines. Had you mentioned the lines, I would have mentioned the lines as well. Because by following your interest and your language, I am connecting with you. Make sense? Okay. Okay. Was the performer focused in the past, present, or future in the second half of the exercise? Now. In the now, yes. Okay, in the present. So totally focused in the now. This is where we need to be, isn't it, when we're performing? Yep. I mean, I know I'm sometimes I'm a bit woolly-headed today because of this cold, 
but I'm all the time I'm in the now and I'm focusing on you guys okay cool right okay was the performer was Karen focused on the results of her catching when I was asking the questions okay that's really powerful isn't it think about that yeah because if we're looking to move our lives forward in a particular direction or we're looking to move our business forward and we get focused and hooked on the result we want it takes us out of the now puts us in the future and as soon as we move out of the now we lose the quality of performance so we were not result focused however by focusing effectively in the now we had great results the catch was brilliant wasn't it okay So how did the performance change? How did the catching change between the first and second half of the exercise, please? Sorry? She caught the ball, yep. Anything else? E easy and effortless. Thank you, yeah. It was, wasn't it? How was that for you, Karen? Easy and effortless, easy and effortless yeah. Because what the open questions did was, it got you focusing in the now. Rather than being... Uh, future focused. When I threw the ball to start with, what were you thinking about? Okay, but and uh, what were you focusing on in the first? Sorry. So you were focusing on the result. So you focus on the result, less performance. Focus in the now, enhanced performance. And I'll get on to what I did at the beginning in just a moment, okay? Because that's another really telling point, actually, okay? And so what were the benefits to the performer, please? What were the benefits to Karen? She was able to catch the ball, yeah? So she had some... Positive results, yeah. And the positive results produced in her a... an enhanced... Sorry? state absolutely so you see how this is all linking together now yep what did the coach not do well I, in fact in this exercise I did do it okay at the very beginning what did I do at the beginning with Karen sorry yeah I was telling wasn't I Watch the ball. Try harder. And I mean, I can remember years and years, you know, on tennis courts, working with maybe children, on just hitting, a, 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 say, a forehand. You know, and the kid would be really trying hard. And I'd be there saying, OK, so what do you notice about the ball as it comes towards you? And they'd say, well, it bounces. So, you, you know, and so you throw a ball or hit a ball, and they right off the middle. What else do you notice about the ball? Well, it bounces and it's spinning. Okay, which way is it spinning? Forward, so you do another one, right off the middle. Then mum or dad come along and they really want their little kitty to do well, you know. So they arrive at the fence and they're really excited because the kid is just bashing these balls, you know, one after another. And the parent says, Johnny, fantastic, don't forget to watch the ball. And of course, immediately, the next one's either off the frame or they miss it. Because the focus then goes to the result versus the taking action. Now there's a real key point here for us. When we're looking to take action ourselves, we're going to have far better results if we're focused in the present versus being focused on the result. And the same thing happens with regard to our communication. Because if I go into, say, a selling situation, okay, I want someone to buy one of my programs, for instance, yeah? If I go in there and I'm focusing on, can I get this person to agree to have this, buy this training from me, I'm not going to be in the moment with that person. So I'm not going to come across, okay, um, as connected with that person. They're not going to feel a connection with me. However, if I go in there and I ask open questions, then I'll be in the moment with them, 
and they'll feel that connection. And of course, by asking the open questions, what I will then be able to do is ascertain what their pains and needs are. And once I know what their pains and their needs are, I can look to design a program to suit them. And they will pick up from me that I'm really interested in you know, what their pains and needs are and how we can find a solution. And because I'm really interested and in suggesting solutions, there's a very good chance that person will buy the training from me. Because I'm coming from a very genuine place in the moment. This all makes sense. So open questions are the key to success, really. There's another one that's just come. I don't know where that came from. Any questions on open questions? Okay. On the other side of the coin, of course, we've got listening skills.